Hey guys, so um, I uh, I got the card I needed to go hit some balls at the driving range. The day I wanted to um, do it earlier was all turned out to be pretty busy, and <clears throat> so I'm uh, I got my seven iron all strapped on, and I just hosed it down and gave it a quick towel wipe down so it, the Honda's looking great. This is a Honda, 2021 Honda DCT model. And um, it's a beautiful day. We've had a bunch of rain uh, last couple days, so this is the first day it kind of like broke open. Got some sunshine, so I figured it'd be a good time to go hit some balls. So I'm going to take a spin. We'll go by uh, Torrey Pines Beach area. And then head to the driving range through Del Mar. Maybe go uh, 15th Street Beach is a nice area. Anyhow, here we go. Just turned 6,008 miles through the winter we had a lot of rain and stuff so I haven't really been riding it that much of course um, it's, a, it's a brisk it's a brisk 56 degrees out today Usually in the winter time in San Diego, it probably averages highs in the 60s, mid 60s. So this has been a, a vicious winter for us. A lot of sweater wearing and bringing your umbrella places. But the air is so clean and wonderful day today. Carmel Valley right now, which is a neighborhood of San Diego. I've been spending too much time at In-N-Out Burger and eating ramen. Ugh. So now I've got to I figure get some exercise in by hitting some golf balls, which isn't really, you know, stressing anything, but it's a start.
one thing with all this rain, the roads are getting beat up big time. Lots of potholes, big ass potholes I have to watch out for. There's a good size one right there. Hopefully some of our California tax dollars will go to fixing the roads, which would be kind of cool. That bike's been running great. Zero issues except for the, I had this one issue where it, it was, I think I overheated the thing because I was out in the desert, 105 degrees, so it kind of had an issue going, starting up after I had stopped it. It thought it was uh, in gear, so it wouldn't start. So um, eventually I, I rolled it backward, a tip from another YouTuber guy. And uh, at work, ended up it ended up real it like reset. It knew then it was in neutral and started right up. But other than that, this puppy has been absolutely a dream. Super easy maintenance, super comfortable, tons of power, great suspension, great weight, you know, great balance, and pretty nimble for 800 pound bike. It's because the weight's so low. A couple of the, the people on the channel have uh, just ordered the bike or have, are expecting it any day now kind of thing and it's great to hear from them. Uh, try to keep in touch and uh, they can give us some feedback on how they're doing with the bike. But I must say, it's like, um, it's such a, and it's so much fun just to be able to get out of the house, go for some spins around the neighborhood, around the area, and enjoy the views, and, um, you know, especially when there isn't traffic, it's, it, it sucks when you're in rush hour stuff, so I, I avoid all that. That's the Toy Pine Cliffs, where the Toy Pine Golf Course is, and then they have the Torrey Pines Beach, where all the cars are parked in the distance there. This is a very popular um, road, heads right to the beach and you can park up there. And um, There's a couple of really nice restaurants, fun restaurants, like you can sit outside and enjoy the view, good pizza place here. Good pizza place and good um, Good Mexican place, Roberto's. And so you can see the the bridge there. There's a train track. You can see that. You can see the train road right there where it says coaster. Um, there's lots of issues that train goes right along the shore of Del Mar area and the cliffs are, are eroding. It, they're like, it's not the best dirt to, to build things on top of, especially the tonnage of train that runs on them. So over the years, they, they erode. So latest is they're gonna spend $37 million to uh, stiffen up that, where the trains are, where the, where the tracks go. Another thing is in the long run, I think they're, they're thinking of building a tunnel underneath this area right here and uh, pop out after the, the cliff area, get back on the track again. Anyhow, now we're like in Del Mar. This is the Pacific Coast Highway heading into downtown Del Mar. And we'll take a spin by 15th Street Beach.
which is a super popular area. They have a nice um, green belt uh, area. People picnic and they have bands there come in the summertime, right like once a week, I think it is. And you can get there early, you know, pick a spot and um, put your chair down in a blanket. That's a lot of fun. This is 15th Street. We're going to turn left here and that'll head us head right down to the water where that beach is. I think they call it Powerhouse Beach. Uh, I just missed the light. Yeah, so the bike's been easy to maintain. I highly, on the bagger version, they don't give you the um, center stand when you buy it. I would highly recommend that for a couple reasons. One, for maintenance, it's, it's so much easier. If you have to do the oil change, the bike is balanced. <coughs> it's not tilted. And then um, secondly, when you leave the bike sitting, it's, too good, it's really good to put it on the center stand. And, um, keeps the weight off the tire. I noticed over time I'll, I would start losing air. Right now, this is del downtown Del Mar, right in the center. Anyhow, I would, I would go for start to go for a spin, I'd see that the air, had, air was low on the tire. So I started propping it up on the center stand and that issue, uh, you know, doesn't happen for quite a long time now. It used to happen more often. <clears throat> And it's um, it takes a little getting used to um, using the you know getting the bike up on the center stand and getting it off. What I found is um, the main thing is to really you know you grab you grab alongside the rear seat and you push hard downward with your foot and by leveraging upward with your arm and you can get the you can get it up on the stand. You never want to do it if the bike's on any kind of an incline. I mean, excuse me, on a, on a, if, the, if the bike is facing downhill, it's really, really difficult to, to um, roll it, to get it to go backward, you know, the weight, there's just too much weight. So here's um, Seagrove Park, and then now we're looking at Powhouse Beach. Super popular area to relax. Um, like I said, people put blankets out on, to our left. We really can't see the green belt area. Okay. Catch a little bit of it. 
that's usually where the bands, they set the bands up right over here. I first started riding the bike, I was very apprehensive and, you know, I hadn't ridden in a while, but as you get used to it, it's, it's easier and easier and easier. I can imagine someone that rides regularly, you know, they would know immediately for a big bike how this is so super easy to drive, especially with the DCT. swing by Dog Beach, which is up here on the left, and Delmar race tracks, and then that'll take us right to the driving beach. Dock Beach right here on our left. You can bring your dog here, let it run off leash if you want. Dog heaven. And the Del Mar racetrack is on our right. We're gonna go right by it. Brigantine, that's a fun restaurant. All the way down our right here. This is all the Del Mar racetrack. Bing Crosby, back in the day, him and his buddies used to all come here. They, they he used to, I think he has a song where the surf meets the turf in old Del Mar. This is what he was talking about. driving range. <clears throat> yeah, and there's a racetrack on our right, right there. Huge parking lot. Okay. Hopefully this won't be too crowded today. Doesn't look too bad.
I'd like to check to see if they have any any kind of motorcycle parking before I pick off a spot of cars in. Our car could go in. some room for other motorcycles. <clears throat> okay guys, <clears throat> another fun little spin. Hope you guys had a good time and um, I'll catch you next time. Bye.